I've got some questions about Zobat, so I'm going to just show you how to set it up and jump right into it. So I have my user library over here. That's where I have my Zobat files. Let it go and just grab it. So I threw a WAV file in here. That's all it is. Just a complete song in one clip. Make it easy to show everything here. So the first thing I do is make sure you're highlighted to that track that you wanted to react to. And click on, double click on Zobot, it'll go into your audio effects down here. And then you just need some kind of video in there. So do me a little tutorial file here. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's just do this video first and drop it in there. Simple as that. And then for the other side, because you're DJing, we'll just put the same video in. All right. And what we might want to do is just change up where these are at. Okay, so right now the way this is set up, it's just going to, this is just Zwobot without recording, without doing any effects, anything, okay? So, and there's still effects in here, so it can be very basic. So what you want to do is hit play. And right now, it's just playing these two videos in a timeline. You could have it where, okay, so we're just showing this, this is the crossfader. So we're just in the left video here, we're pointing to that one, see? Um, so it's just playing this video straight through. So if I turn on the beat or BPM, it will start from the beginning and just loop to the beat. So, but you have to enable it here. So now, see how it's just going? Do, 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 do. And I can make it a little bit faster. It's like shivering and then go lower. And then bring this down as well, and it'll play longer. But it's still going to the beat there. Now you can just turn this off, and it'll play straight through, and still go to the beat when other things are enabled. All right, and so that is the BPM portion. I'm gonna turn that off for now. And now I'm gonna show you that it reacts to um, audio as well. So they're both playing, both of these videos here, and the crossfader, when I click on this, it's gonna start fading between the two by audio trigger. And there's a high and low level. Low is generally less invasive. And then this one's like kind of nuts. Um, again, let's turn that off. That's the X button. And I didn't show this a minute ago, but the crossfader also can be animated between the two evenly by pressing this button, turning it white. And now it's gonna go to the BPM over here. And it's in the jump mode right now. So it's gonna jump back and forth. All right, and then you click on this. And these are like blend modes, so it's not gonna just jump back and forth, it's gonna blend them. I like jump, I leave it there. And then there's also more effects, and these are on everything, basically. You have multiply, hard light, overlay, and it's a blending mode of just how they go together. So it's, it's never quite as hard as just a hard pan without it. Uh, turn that on. And then there's also like an invert, invert number two, grind. So there's some effects just in the DJ VJ setup here. And, and the same thing goes over here. And the, the speed actually, I didn't say it already, could drastically speed up a video. Let's, let's turn this off and go look over here. So it's, going, it's playing really fast now. And then almost to a halt, you can change the speed of how it's playing. That could also go to the beat which is fun. And so you, here, let's do that. You can turn that on, changes the speed there, and turn this on to this, just gonna zoom in and out. And it's going to the BPM. So you can do it faster, make it really chaotic, or bring it down a little slower. And you wanna just kinda of go with the, the BPM there. I don't think it's 170 here, I think that's incorrect, but. Anyway, um, so that is the basic portion of it's, I mean, it's, it's really just like two turntables here. You have your crossfader and then um, your speed, turn that off, your zoom, and you could, you could turn this on at any time too, full screen, boop, and escape, goes back down, and tapping on this does something, I think it's the BPM, yeah, you could, you could just tap on this robot thing. Um, and if you ever need to get back, the screen will disappear. You just tap on the track it's on or 
the um, device itself. All right. And now we're going to go add an effect. And I keep those in a separate file. I think everybody does. And I will sometime when I update it from 2.7 to 2.8, I have multiples in here. Not the greatest thing, but whatever it is what it is. It's probably user error. So I'm going to add my favorite here, flow scan. So I just double click it. And now it's after this. And boop, ba boop, 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 boo. All right. So I'm just going to click the C button here that populates all the effects in here. Once you drop them in, then you just add it, flow scan. Now it's there. There, there, this is now highlighted. It's it's gray without it, now it's red. I click it again, it's blue activated. So now it's working up here. Let's go hit our song again. Let's turn it down a little bit though, we don't really need to hear it. All right, and the effects can be the same way. So this, when you click this, it turns white. It's gonna be triggered by the BPM, beat meter. So the effect is gonna move, it's gonna shift. Turn that off, and then flow adjust. It moving boop, 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 boop. so that's going to the BPM and the same works for audio so the audio is triggering it now turn that blue so see how it's kind of chaotic with the beat and then it just now it's just bass and the shift as well all right yeah, it gets complicated really fast so it's flowing to the right right now if I click left it'll just flow to the left and down and the reason I like sideways, look, you can shift it way over or shift it barely at all, which is really cool for these words coming on screen. And then this could be triggered with the BPM here. So it'll go up, down, left, right, side, blah, 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 door, window, whatever it's called. Turn that off, same with the audio here. Now it's triggered by the audio. But the high one, high is just a little more intense than low, and the X is off. And then the flow right now is straight, meaning it's just a bunch of And now there's a flow, which kind of just makes it psychedelic, which is really fun. And then of course you have all the same effects. Like I said, that tray always opens up, difference, kind of blends it, multiply. It's getting a little dark there, so I don't think I like any of these. Alpha, there you go. And then you can always just uh, do an invert brighten it up there we go all right anyway so let's turn that off flow so that's flow scan or straight scan there and again you can just start like clicking on everything and having it bounce between the, the two and have this go too and starts doing it for you you know because everything's with the BPM you go faster really get chaotic slow it down Turn off the BPM, turn that off, turn that off. And then we're gonna do audio, audio, audio. Play the file again. So that's true by audio. I do like the B BPM for a little more control, but if you're looking for a little more chaotic, then the audio one is the way to go. It's a bit intense. Anyway, this is off, this is on, this is off, this is on. And you can do that with, uh, MIDI learn, you know, boop, boop, and have a launch pad, launch pad or something, do it. All right, let's stop that. And let's get rid of flow scan. You can just delete it if you wanted to. And then to record all this, you're gonna need a, another module. And that is this, you just double click it, boop, boop. And now you set the output path, whatever folder you want. Movie sounds great, I don't even know what that is. And then you press record and that's it. It's gonna record the audio and this video screen here and combine the two and that's it and it goes to the output path and then your effects you want to put between here which can be a little tricky let's grab a boop, 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 boop. let's just do that mosh scan stretch which one should i choose there's so many just do feedback all right, so I went in the wrong spot, so I'm just gonna grab it and move it. Carefully, you could drop it on this by accident, the effects or the outputs modules, and it will replace this robot. And no big deal, you just click on do about four times and it'll come back. Um, so we're gonna go here, hit the C button, and again, put the feedback in there, and then on, off, on. All right, and let's see what that does. Play our little file. All right, 
So let's hit record. Let's do it. See if I can screen record at the same time. All right, and we're gonna turn this on to BPM. Automate that. Dunk, 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 dunk. And this one's gonna be feedback. Let's see? This one's cool. And trails. And let's do different directions as well. Kind of go with the music, see? All right, and that's gonna be it. Let's go hit the record button. Now let's go see if it did anything for us. We are in movies. Siphon recordings. Um, today. Went straight to movies. All right, you get it. So it's easy. And let me know questions and I will further answer them later. Answer them later. Thanks for watching.